Trash by Andy Mulligan, Part 1, Chapter 1. My name is Rafael Fernandez, and I am a dump site boy. People say to me, I guess you just never know what you'll find sifting through rubbish. Today could be your lucky day. I say to them, friend, I think I know what I find. And I know what everyone finds because I know what we've been finding for all the years I've been working, which is 11 years. It's the one word, stuppa, which means, and I'm sorry if I offend, it's our word for human muck. I don't want to upset anyone, that's not my business here, but there's a lot of things hard to come by in our sweet city, and one of the things too many people don't have is toilets and running water. So when they have to go, they do it where they can. Most of those people live in boxes, and the boxes are stacked up tall and high. So when you use the toilet, you do it on a piece of paper, and you wrap it up and put it in the trash. The trash bags come together. All over the city, trash bags get loaded onto carts, and from carts onto trucks or even trains. You'd be amazed at how much trash this city makes. Piles and piles of it, and it all ends up here with us. The trucks and trains never stop, and nor do we. Crawl and crawl and sort and sort. It's a place they call Bahala, and it's rubbish town. Three years ago, it was Smoky Mountain, but Smoky Mountain got so bad they closed it down and shifted us along the road. The piles stack up, and I mean Himalayas. You could climb forever, and many people do, up and down into the valleys. The mountains go right from the docks to the marshes, one whole long world of steaming trash. I am one of the rubbish boys picking through the stuff the city throws away. But you must find interesting things, someone said to me. Sometimes, no? We get visitors, you see. It's mainly foreigners visiting the mission school, which they set up years ago and just about stays open. I always smile and I say, sometimes, sir, sometimes, ma'am. What I really mean is, no, never, because what we mainly find is stup. What you got there, I say to Gardo. What do you think, boy, says Gardo. And I know, the interesting parcel that looked like something nice wrapped up. What a surprise! It's Stup, and Gardo's picking his way on, wiping his hands on his shirt and hoping to find something we can sell. All day, sun or rain, over the hills we go. You want to come see? Well, you can smell Bahala long before you see it. It must be about 200 football pitches big, or maybe a thousand basketball courts. I don't know. It seems to go on for forever. Nor do I know how much of it is stuck, but on a bad day, it seems like most of it. And to spend your life wading through it, breathing it, sleeping beside it, well, maybe one day you'll find something nice. Oh, yes. Then, one day, I did. I was a trash boy since I was old enough to move without helping and pick things up. That was, what, three years old, and I was sorting. Let me tell you what we're looking for. Plastic, because plastic can be turned into cash, fast by the kilo. While plastic is best, and that goes in one pile, blue in the next. Paper, if it's white and clean, but that means if we can clean it and dry it. Cardboard also. Tin cans, anything metal. Glass, if it's a bottle. Cloth or rags of any kind. That means the occasional t-shirt, a pair of pants, a bit of sack that wrapped something up. The kids around here, half the stuff we wear is what we found, but most we pile up, weigh, and sell. You should see me dressed to kill. I wear a pair of hacked off jeans and a too big t-shirt that I can roll up onto my head when the sun gets bad. I don't wear shoes. One, because I don't have any, and two, because you need to feel with your feet. The mission school had a big push on getting us boots, but most of the kids sold them on. The trash is soft and our feet are hard as hooves. Rubber is good. Just last week, we got a freak delivery of old tires from somewhere. Snapped up in minutes, they were. The men getting in first and driving us off. A half good tire can fetch half a dollar, and a dead tire holds down the roof of your house. We get the fast food, too, and that's a little business in itself. It doesn't come near me and Gardo. It goes down to the far end, and about a hundred kids sort out the straws, the cups, and the chicken bones. Everything turned, cleaned, and bagged up, cycled down to the weighers, weighed and sold, on to the trucks that take it back to the city. Round it goes. On a good day, I'll make 200 pesos. On a bad, maybe 50. So you live day to day and hope you don't get sick. Your life is the hook you carry there in your hand, turning the trash. What's that you got, Gardo? Stup, what about you? Turn over the paper. Stup. 
I have to say, though, I'm a trash boy with style. I work with Garda most of the time, and between us, we move fast. Some of the little kids and the old people just poke and poke, like everything's got to be turned over. But among the stuff, I can pull out the paper and plastic fast, so I don't do so bad. Gardo is my partner, and we always work together. He looks after me.